Hello everyone, welcome back to Android Fiesta. This is SM Massive, and that's the second part of my tutorial series uh, Introduction to Flutter. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a basic uh, UI in Flutter and how to design a left drawer navigation. So let's begin. At first, let me show you what UI we're gonna design at first in this uh, screen you can see uh, here is a card where uh, it has uh, one image some text and up there we can see this is called that uh, light blue color portion is called the app bar so inside that uh, we can see one icon one text and two more icons here so at first we are gonna design that app bar then we will think about the card inside this body part okay so for uh, designing this app bar uh, let's have a look what should we do in our scaffold in scaffold uh, in the previous tutorial we have uh, shown in the scaffold we will have one uh, com property that is app bar and inside that we are gonna design our app bar so after declaring that app bar uh, we will uh, call that class app bar and inside that the title we want to show in our app bar for that we have a property name title and inside that title we need to uh, use the text wizard to show some text so we can uh, uh, style our text uh, like this way and uh, we can uh, use normal string in the portion I have written wizard dot title so you can simply uh, quote that line and uh, write whatever you want in my case it is home and inside the style uh, you can uh, color the text you can uh, set the font size font width to bold whatever you want and uh, the background color as we can see the light blue color is uh, defined here is uh, as a background color uh, for setting up the color we need to call that colors uh, class then dot the color name and leading is the first most icon we uh, want to add in this app bar for that we have called leading property and inside that we are gonna set our icon and uh, in Flutter we have some built-in icons inside our project so I will uh, to use them I will just call icons class and dot the uh, icon name we want to show so after um, pressing dot you can simply press uh, control space and there will be lots of suggestion for the icons and for setting up the colors the same way we have done for text uh, color then colors dot the color name so where did this two icon will come uh, uh, where uh, from this icons will come so for these uh, icons we need to call actions and inside action we will write the codes we will require for setting up the icons or text whatever we want at the end of our app bar so in actions we have a list of two icons here first icon then size box so what is the size box size box is basically used to have a gap between two components if we uh, set the width of uh, inside the, the side box it will take that gap uh, or the space horizontally if we set height for size box it will take the gap or the space uh, vertically so in our case we wanted that space uh, horizontally that's why we have set that width to 20 and after that we have set our icon search so there are two icons first one is the shopping cart icon that, uh, that we can see and uh, the last one is the search icon and after that search icon I also needed 
to add some uh, sorry uh, sorry sorry uh, I needed to uh, add some space that's why I have used size box uh, after the search uh, icon so after that we want to design that uh, card so inside this card we can see the components one image and some text so for designing this card we want to we have to know about the row column concept of uh, flutter so row and columns are the two useful widgets to represent our components in a uh, linear whatever we call vertical or horizontal way so in our card we can see we um, we can see the components are aligned vertically so at first to show the components vertically I will need one column and inside that column first component will be a row as we can see there is an image and beside that image we have a different component text uh, that is exactly beside the image so wrapping uh, to wrap up all these uh, components we will need first uh, row so inside that row first I will have uh, image and then we can see one text and right after that another right below that text another text so for this portion for this portion I will uh, sorry about the slide controlling uh, for that portion uh, showing two text I will need one column at first I will uh, declare row there I will uh, declare column sorry at first I will declare column then inside column first I will declare one row inside that row I will declare one image then two texts in a column and that's how our first row will be completed after that I, as a second com component of our column I will create another row to show these two text beside so in the second component I will uh, call one row to show the address and the total address beside that and after that I will exactly need the same uh, uh, way of uh, row so if I write the code you will be more clear about that so that's the app bar we have designed after that I will write the code of the card so inside the body part of the scaffold I will call one child and uh, the child will be another component of flutter which is another component and or widget what we call in uh, flutter we call it widget so I will uh, use that term uh, I will uh, use cart widget to show the that uh, middle uh, card inside our screen so for uh, showing the shadow portion uh, in the below we have seen now uh, for that reason I have declared the elevation to 5 and as I have mentioned all the components are aligned vertically that's why at first as a parent I will need column and inside that column we need to uh, declare some children uh, as uh, these components will be the children of column so so uh, the first uh, component of our column as I have mentioned I will need one row as first uh, I need to show image and then after beside that I will show the text so at first I will I have declared here row and inside that row I also have to declare children as all the components will be stored as a children of this row so at first we can see in the previous image that I will need one image and that image has to be rounded that's why I have uh, used this widget circle avatar and uh, 
to define the radius of the image I have declared the property uh, radius to th 230 and uh, the background uh, to setting up the your image URL we need to call background image and then call the network image class and inside that parenthesis I just have to paste the URL of that image okay so later I will also show you how to uh, show image from the local asset so for that uh, uh, for now I have uh, written that network image with the URL so that will be the output our uh, of our code that I have written in the previous slide so after this showing this image I need to uh, show two text beside the image for that reason I have uh, uh, declared uh, one column just under that uh, circle avatar and inside that column we also have uh, two text as its children first of all uh, the title name my uh, first name or my entire name uh, will be printed at first uh, and uh, right below that my uh, email will be shown and uh, as I have mentioned earlier we can uh, style the text uh, using that uh, style property so that will be the output of the uh, code so as we can see all the text are uh, right beside the image so we need to have some space between these uh, components so for that reason we will uh, need to use padding and uh, for that purpose I have uh, added padding here so, so uh, adding Pad, uh, padding uh, here in Flutter is uh, quite easier. We uh, just have to move our mouse cursor uh, to that column uh, widget and press Alter Insert. I repeat, press Alter Insert, and there will be one suggestion as uh, if if I want to add padding or not. If I press padding, then uh, it will be automatically add it in my code and after that we can uh, we will be in a enable to edit this uh, value inside the padding we want to put any value we want inside that so after adding pa uh, padding uh, our output will be like this so that's quite uh, better than before so after that uh, we uh, have seen in the design that uh, we will need uh, some more text below that image and the uh, name so for that purpose I have declared two rows uh, with exactly same structure uh, in here uh, I will have some children text size box uh, with to have uh, some gap between these two text and uh, exactly the similar way another uh, row uh, that will contain uh, phone text and uh, there is a gap between the phone number so that will be the output of this code so here we also need to add some padding to make it look better than this so that's why I have added padding uh, to wrap this row and uh, as I have mentioned it's damn easier uh, to add uh, padding just uh, have your mouse cursor over that row widget and press alter insert and it will suggest you to add padding okay so this is how I have added padding and it's look quite uh, better than before so now we need to do in real life scenario our address can be way long way too long so if uh, we have this uh, long text and our uh, width is adjusted so it will show that kind of uh, output and uh, which is which never s sounds good for us uh, so for handling this kind of ca cases we have expanded so 
we need to wrap our text with that widget expand it and it will be all okay our text will be uh, adjusted in multiple lines like this one okay it looks much better so I think we have done uh, whatever we want to design uh, whatever we wanted to design in our uh, tutorial so now the question is in this uh, design I have called network image by URL so what if I want to show image from uh, my local storage for that purpose I need to go to the pubspec.yaml file which is uh, created auto generated when we create one flutter project so inside that flutter uh, main uh, folder flutter project main folder we will found we will find this uh, pubspec.yaml class inside that pubspec.yaml class inside assets we need to declare the folder we have used to store images and if we want to mention one particular image then uh, I need to write images slash that image name dot whatever the extension is the PNG or JPG whatever and if we uh, keep that like images slash it will take all the images inside that images folder so that's that part is very important after making these changes in our pubspec.yaml file we need to hit that packages get and it will be automatically added so oh I'm so sorry huh. so if we uh, want to add uh, make this uh, asset image uh, look circular we need to add clip r are wrecked to wrap this image dot asset so the declaring of the image from asset is a little bit uh, different from the network image here we can see in the child uh, image dot asset and uh, from the folder path I have to declare the image name and set height and width that's very important to set the height and width for this uh, uh, image and uh, for making it circular I have wrapped this image dot asset by clip r rect and uh, inside that I need to declare the radius for that I have called border radius and inside that uh, uh, for that uh, I have called border radius dot circular and uh, as we can see our height and width are 50 that's why I have uh, make it uh, circular to 50 radius you can do whatever you want uh, so now we will show how to make uh, left drawer navigation